afraid that extremists are crossing the channel on small boats. Well, joining me now to discuss this is Kevin Saunders, who's the former Chief Immigration Officer at UK Border Force. Welcome to the show, Kevin. It's always a pleasure. What's taken them so long to wake up to this, Kev? I mean, we've been saying, people like you and I have been saying for years and years and years, we have no idea who's crossing the channel. If they throw their documents into the channel, they come over there, we don't know who they are, they can say whoever they are. And now, finally, Robert Jemrick says, hey, these people could be a danger. It's like, what took them so long? Well, indeed. Good evening, Martin. Yeah, you're, you are quite right. What has taken them so long to wake up? Um, it is a huge problem, and we've been saying this for donkey's years. We don't know who these people are that are coming across the channel, whether they're coming on the boats or backs of lorries. We have no idea who they are, and that is a big concern. And what's more of a concern is that we've lost 17,000 of these people. Mm. Now, they're not all terrorists, but they're not people that are here... Um, to help the British economy because they disappeared into the unregulated economy. So it is a big problem. The answer, unfortunately, is to detain everybody that arrives here illegally, put them all into detention. But, of course, that would be totally unacceptable um, to the politicians and it would cost an absolute fortune. But until we have another 7-7 or something like that, they won't even think about it. We do need to detain these people. And a lot of people, Kevin, will agree with that. But of course, we have a system that seems hell-bent on allowing anything like that to happen. And in fact, in this specific incident, Kevin, um, the Home Office had allowed that these people were going to be allowed into Britain because, of course, they can't process the backlog fast enough. Kevin, 31,900 small boat migrants in the asylum system were just going to be waved into the country because they couldn't be processed within one year, which meant they had to be granted automatic right to remain. And only 23 of that entire lot have been deported. And at the 11th hour, this decision is paused by Robert Jemry, who says there's a well-evidenced connection between those arriving illegally and serious criminality. Kevin, I say once again, this is basic stuff. You and I have been saying this for blooming years, mate. Yes, it is. It is completely basic. Um, Robert Jenrick is now saying what he should have been saying. That's when he was the minister. Um, <laughs> he's being a little bit wise after the event, isn't he? But he's right. That The thing is, he's right. We are... Um, the 30,000 that you're talking about, um, I think, um, are people that we couldn't remove anyway because they come from the five countries that we, we, we've we got no hope of removing people to because there's wars going on in those, com those countries anyway, so we couldn't remove them. But that doesn't mean that they're not, they're not mm. people that we should be very careful about. And, yeah. and I mean, I believe that there were, there, were nine, there were 19 that were of interest in the security services. But let me tell you a little story, um, we had when we had Operation Pitting, the people flying people out of Afghanistan, we had border force officers actually at, in Afghanistan who were doing checks on people that were coming out. And we found two on one of the flights that were definitely not the sort of people we would want in the UK. And in fact, they were prevented from disembarking in the UK and flown straight back to Afghanistan. So we do have some successes, but they're not huge. Of course, Kevin, those are the ones that we intercept or even know about. Kevin Saunders, thank you very much for joining us, former Chief Immigration Officer at UK Border Force. It really makes you wonder sometimes if the lunatics have taken over the asylum system, how can you seriously say that serious criminals could be on dingers? Of course they could if they're throwing their documents on the channel. We have no idea who these people are. Today, we've seen six come in on the back of a lorry. They're going to lorries now, they're closing the dingers. Round and round we go. Astonishing.